Gary from Mr G Shave back for another Wednesday sh straight shave and this is going to be a bit of a repeat of last week um, I'll show you in a second um, this is shave number straight shave number 34 hardware today I'm going to use the ellipse plastic bowl from Amazon cost me a few pounds on Amazon uh, I'm not sure whether this is a new brush to the um, to the channel but um, it's the Yaki Atlantis and it's got the coin in the bottom um, yeah first one with a coin for me um, so yeah I'm really liking that 24 mil I believe so that's what I'm using today and then this is the repeat I'm reusing um, the Kron und Schwert so this is the four eighths, the crown and shred, four eighths, razor, beautiful looking razor. Um, I just think I need to clean this off a little bit. But yeah, um, this has been, the reason I'm reusing it is because I sent it off to John June. He sent me a message and um, said, send it to me and then you can use it on the next Wednesday shave to do a comparison. So that's what I've done is, uh, you know, I got it, yeah, got it yesterday morning. Um, <clears throat> or was it yesterday lunchtime? I got a few parcels yesterday. But yeah, um, that's the razor I'm going to use today. And we'll do a, a comparison to see how it works. So what I'm going to do now is get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all uh, prepared. A bit more water on the face, I think. So today um, the pre-shave is going to be Pears, Pears Soap. I don't know whether that's, you can see that, but without my glasses I can't tell. So I'm just putting some Pears on. Any standard glycerin soap will do. So this has got, the last time I shaved was Saturday, so this has got a fair old bit of growth on it. Um, I can't remember how, how many days growth I had on it last time I used the urn, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. If anything, it's possibly a bit harder, but I don't think it makes a lot of difference. It's still the same thickness of hair that it's cutting through, it's just longer. <clears throat> but we'll see. We shall see. I'm looking forward to this. This will be a good comparison shave. Um, now, the... Um, so today I'm going to be using quite a few sample soaps. I cleaned out my, um, or reorganized my shaving cupboard and I found quite a few soaps that I haven't featured yet that have been sent to me, graciously sent to me by subscribers and I apologize if I haven't used them yet. Um, I've got a whole pile, I've put them in here now. Um, I've got a, a whole pile of of different uh, sort of samples in there. I've got a few more samples from Billy Nye, uh, yeah, Billy Nye or Billy. And this one is Ariana, Ariana and Evans Vanille Tabac. Hence I decided to use the tabac products to, to finish off. Now this is really quite a dark brown um, lather and the soap itself is dark brown. Um, so I, I hope you can see that, but that really is quite a different colour. The scent strength on this is is superb. Um, it's about, I would say, 5 or 6 out of 10, probably airing on the 6 out of 10 strength. I wouldn't say it particularly smells like tobacco, um, but I think tobacco will go very well with this. This has a interesting background smell I'm not sure whether I like it <laughs> but it's it is it's nice it's nice it's it's pleasant enough so let's let's put it on the face so how's everybody's week been so far thank you to all my new subscribers I really much appreciate it all those who comment that's what I'm after is loads of comments really is lots of people taking part and having a discussion and conversation and just because I answer a, you know, a question or whatever, doesn't mean that you know, somebody else can't 
weigh in with their opinion. Um, you know, I encourage that. You know, use my comment section almost like a forum. Um, this probably needs a bit more water. I've put a load of water in this. Um, I'm not going to grade this one because this tub has been in my cupboard for quite a few months now and the actual soap is quite dry. It's, it's, it's really suffered um, over time. So, I mean, it's lathered up as you can see. Um, just adding a bit more water to this. It's lathered up fine, uh, but I would like to try this fresh, you know what I mean? I, I don't think it's a fair comparison, so I'm not going to do the pricing and so on that I do up there. I mean, I can, I suppose I could, but I'm not gonna give it the grades that I usually do on the basis that this is a bit of an unfair contest because it was the only thing that's um, s sort of stopped the soap from falling out is sort of a, a sticky label. Um, <clears throat> what you can see, it's a, a tub, plastic tub. That's the colour of the soap. If I do that, you can see the colour of the soap. But that's basically been left to open air for months or so. Unfair in my opinion. So here we go. <clears throat> this is going to be first pass with the new edge, John June's edge. So let's see how it goes. Instantly. I can instantly feel the difference. Wow. That's really Whereas last time it, it felt like it was catching, this is just, it's as smooth as a knife through butter. Excellent. Wow, that is chalk and cheese. The difference is unbelievable. <clears throat> I knew it was going to be good. I knew because I know John June's edges and I know I like them. Um, but that John <laughs> just on the first pass, that's stunning. <clears throat> so now to the other side. Feels so, so good. It's so hard to describe the difference in feel. I mean, the other way, when last week when I used this, this was almost like rubbing a very thin piece of sandpaper over my face. This is just so good. So, so good. It really is. Now with that new head, edge on it, Best edge so far, John. I think, you know, 
I'm glad I sent about three razors to you. Um, because now I'm looking forward to using those. Those will be the next three razors that I use and then um, it'll probably start me sending others back to you again just so that they've all got the same edge. <clears throat> but we'll see. Oh, look at this. This lather is excellent. The slickness so far I wouldn't say was amazing but again as I said um, this soap has been sitting almost in the open air for months so it it was pretty dried out if I'm honest um, I had to really press hard to, to to get it to break in half and then I had to soak the 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 lather a bit or the the, the bit of soap in the tub. I, I put a little bit of water on it and left it for a few minutes until it softened slightly so I could spread it around so <clears throat> not in the best condition. I'd rather use, I'd rather give this soap a rating. I can t tell you about the scent um, and if anything the scent's probably more concentrated because it's dried out <clears throat> but the scent is, is, is great. There is definitely tobacco in it. Um, a sweet tobacco there's something like vanilla in the background maybe my my nose isn't brilliant at picking up scents but it's almost like marzipan in the background which is not a favorite scent of mine <clears throat> um, but this is nice this is nice so here we go across the grain I tell you, every time I use this, it's like, wow. Um, it really is unbelievably good. I was really looking forward to this razor coming back. Uh, the other thing that's happened is... Um, James, you know who you are. Um, I think he's he started out honing um, recently, or whether how long he's been doing it, I'm not sure. But he's got some nice stones, and he sent me two free gold dollars. <clears throat> so I will be featuring those very shortly. Um, I'll probably feature. I'll, I'll do them the next two Wednesdays on the trot. And uh, you know who you are, James. I'm not going to um, give your username away or anything, but um, you just wanted me to try the edges, and I'm, I'm more than happy to do so. And I thank you very much for sending sending them to me. You know, two straight, two free straight roses. I know they're gold dollars, but still, it's the thought, and it's the end. You know, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely wonderful that that you know. That you're learning how to hone. I, I, I haven't even. I've got a twelve thousand grit stone um, that I was going to put edge. I still haven't got around to using it. I think that's a Jane. That, um, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, so so you're a braver man than me at the moment. I've got to keep thinking about what I'm doing here. I am absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving it. Right, I'm just going to wash this off. 
this cloth. So yeah, I've, I've recently, you know, I, I, as I've been reorganizing that cupboard and things, there's been a, f a few things that I found that I've gone, oh no, I haven't, I haven't used those yet. So I will be using a lot of different samples over the next few weeks, um, as often as I can. Um, and, and then obviously with the two straight razors that have been gifted to me, that's amazing. Um, and I may well give them both away as a as a giveaway when I get to 750 so I may include them um, certainly in one of the giveaways so um, there we go so let's go for the third pass but so far oh I haven't done under there <clears throat> so far it's a chalk and cheese shave. Far more comfortable, much smoother, much more efficient. Um, stunning. So well done, John. Not that I had any doubts whatsoever. Um, had, you know, all the all the edges that I've had from you have been out of this world. So if you're looking to get a home done, John June's your man. So. This is excellent. Wow. I, I, actually, this is beginning to grow on me, this scent. It's definitely got something in the background that really mm, is not to my scent profile, shall we say. It's not, it, there's something there in the background that doesn't quite agree with my nostrils, shall we say. All right, here we go, against the grain. Dug in slightly there. Now, Slickness wise, and again, I'm not going to score this because this has completely dried out this soap, so I'm not going to score it on my usual scale. Um, and I apologise to those that sent me these samples because they've been with me for a long time and I, I, it's so rude of me not to have used them. Um, but they just got lost in the cupboard. You know, you know when you get that much stuff. Um, And I know Ariana and Evans, you know, is excellent for slickness. So it'd be a completely unfair comparison. Because as I say, it's been sat in the open air for so long that it's, it was completely dried out. I do enjoy getting samples, it's just that I... It's got to the point in that cupboard where everything was everywhere and I, there was no organisation or anything. Um, I'll probably put a picture up here that what I've done. Um, or at least partial picture anyway. And I would say I've only got a small collection of soaps. Um, but I, I was just getting to the point where if I wanted to use, I've just got them all stacked on top of each other. If I wanted to use, um, if I wanted to use a, a particular soap, it, it may, you know, if it was at the bottom at the back of all of these stacks of soaps, 
um, I had to empty the cupboard to get to that one so. Stunning, absolutely stunning. That edge, best edge yet as far as I'm concerned. Really, really good. It's so nice to get a, <clears throat> to use a razor when it's just been freshly honed. It's, it's the best it's ever gonna be. <laughs> Although I suppose some people would argue that it gets better, you know, as you, Strop it, <clears throat> it gets better, but um, yeah. Right, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, I realized after I'd stopped recording that um, I hadn't done the pickup pass. Didn't really need much of a pickup pass. That The edge on that was superb, but I did do a little touch up off camera just down here. There was nothing up here. So but this, this patch down here has always been a problem area for me. Um, I just realised I hadn't been talking much about this brush. I mean, look at that, there's a shell inside there. <laughs> Stunning. Um, great brush. Got a bit of backbone to it, which is nice for a synthetic. Um, excellent. And the bowl, you know, all know the bowl, that was fantastic. Um, the edge on that razor, stunning. Right, post shave. Cold rinse. It's still, see that still doesn't feel 100% but it's not far off but I can still feel beard there um, and a little bit down there but there's quite a bit so a little bit of beard all the way across here but that's the way it is with the straight roses for me I just can't seem to get that angle um, I mean I think if I I'm gonna start something here if I were to shave this goatee off I think I'd find it a lot easier <laughs> I know, stop the comments, stop. <laughs> right, um, let's go on with the alum. Yeah, no, I'm not shaving the beard off. I was thinking about it for Movember, instead of growing a beard, shaving mine off. But then my daughter said, you won't be able to do your Christmas trick with a flashy light stuck to your beard. I thought, well, uh, she's always, I've probably told you this story. She was completely anti me having a goatee in the first place. And now she doesn't want me to shave it off. Neither of my daughters do. Oh, and if anybody's wondering what that is on my arm, I, I because I have all these pins and needles in my arms and my legs, I can, in the middle of the night, scratch quite hard. That one actually burst two nights ago and bled everywhere. Um, the pins and needles make me itch and scratch. So that's why I, I quite often have marks on my arms. Um, just the way it is with my the damage to my nerves. Um, you know, I'm sorry if it sort of puts you off watching it, I can't help it, it just happens, in the, it only happens at night, I scratch myself while I'm asleep and that's it. I wake up in the morning with my arms looking like they've been butchered sometimes. Um, and I never know when it's gonna happen. It does happen fairly regularly because you've probably seen on many of my other videos where my arms have had marks on them the one time I, I caught myself while well, getting something in the shed, I think that was the first time somebody made a comment uh, and that was that was my fault. But just slowly over time, my arms, you know, I, I just scratch because of the pins and needles while I'm asleep and I don't even know I'm doing it. And then I wake up 
and I can be the, the bed sheets can be covered in blood and because these these little buggers don't stop bleeding for ages. Right, um, I've wiped off, so we're going to go with um, tobacco. After, oh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to go with boots, tea tree, and witch hazel. Oh, that's nice. In terms of sting, um, when I put the alum on, that was about three or four out of ten. And again, the same with the boots, tea tree, and witch hazel. Let's see what. Uh, Tobacco original does. Take the lid off. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, that's burning. But wow. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I know tobacco is a like it or leave it sort of product, but I like it. <laughs> I really like it. So again, using the balm, tobacco balm. Um, I have got the lid for it. Let me just put that on again. So there you go, tobacco aftershave balm. And I put that much on my fingers. And here we go. Oh, stunning. Oh. Wow, fantastic. That was a great shave. Um, excellent new edge, John. Superb. Can't wait to use the other razors. Um, but I'll be using the two gold dollars that have been sent to me uh, for testing. Um, uh, from uh, somebody called James so I'll be using those ne on the next two consecutive Wednesdays to, to try them and compare them but there we are so for me and the Krone and Schwert uh, 4 8 razor from E-R-N e uh, made in Germany obviously uh, from me and the Krone and Schwert razor I'll see you all on Friday for the head shave. Bye for now.